Alright, so this is my first video back, I mean, actually content-wise. So, I'm going to talk about the biggest thing that happened in Update 3.4, this cosmetics wardrobe. It's the only thing that's been actually added to the map, probably since Portal War Portal Lords. Um, but it's a pretty cool, I mean, not a ton of functionality except for these sets. Um, I guess you can look at your entire stamp collection. Mine's struggling a bit right now, but with all the different cosmetic things you can get in Portal Lords now, uh, there, here's a way to collect them as well as getting rewards for collecting them. So how these work is uh, there's each category, so this is chapters 1 through 5, the, it's all a set, and so if you complete all, collect all these items in the set, so there's like 20 items right here. Um, how you can tell is each of these outside little circles fills up with blue, and then the middle circle fills up with blue, meaning you complete the entire set. So for this middle set, the one which I only have the soccer ball for, we can see the one of the outside circles is filled in blue. Nothing else there, though. As soon as I collect all four of these stamps, though, I will receive this so the rewards right here i'll get 10 stanima items and then one double elite campaign drop as well as i'll receive one more raid for each elite level in chapter three so if i go to chapter three instead of it just saying you have three tries per day i'll actually get four tries per day um so that's a really nice way to get more hero shards um if you have that completed so I'll go down to one I actually do have completed so let's do daily login legend since apparently all I can do is log in um, I'll go to reward so what happens is I got all these stamps different dragon tails and I can't remember what this event was how I got a dragon but so what happens is since I filled that out once per day at login, I receive one purple rarity gear shard. So when I logged in today, just popped up in my mail. I claimed it already, but it was just a purple gear shard. So any one of these like this, House of the Flying, all those, just one random one there. Uh, if you go back down here, there's another event. If you get the castle stamps, you also get an orange uh, gear shard per day. You get a red gear shard if you do the Woe of Midas set. Um, as well as you'll get each of these. I got some rewards for getting that as well. But if I get these castle stamps, I'll also get the two uh, normal drop items and those gold. And then I don't know what Wild Wild Essence is, but... Sounds pretty cool. And then if I complete all three of these sub sets, I get the big reward once per day at login. I get one consumable item. A consumable item is like these nuggets or actually a normal campaign drop is also a consumable item. But yeah, something really neat that I can use. So if you can get all three of these in a big set, that's really nice. So how these chapter 1 through 5 sets work right here, if I complete this, I get an extra uh, elite level in chapter 3. But if I get all 5 of these sets, I get a extra raid in all of the levels. So you can actually get a potential of having 5 raids per elite chapter uh, level. And they have these going all through the chapters. And then down here, we have... Uh, heroes that contain chests that contain heroes in this set so say if i completed the totem prince set if i get a totem prince from a set it will begin with i believe four stars totem prince whatever so the standard stars they usually start out with so i will go actually down here so steam stroller usually comes with one star so if i got steam stroller from a chest she'd usually have one star now if i completed a set with her skins in it if i got a chest with her in it i would get two stars as my start out so if you already have the hero five star this doesn't really 
uh, become applicable. But again, this can be really useful. Um, so now what, that's the main quest reward. If you have the, like, Dwarven, or uh, Ginger Beard's his name. If you have Ginger Beard's skin set, you get one extra star if you get him from a chest for him. Um, but the sub-quests, you get, these are the main rewards, lots of hero shards, as well as, I believe those are his epic gear scraps, or no, those are just items, um, as well as his epic gear scraps become easier to get in the dungeon. So all in all, these cosmetics things, um, pretty cool, as far as, just kind of something else to do in the game, just try to get sets, another fun little objective to do on the side. I really like where they're trying to bring the game now. Uh, not as much as just that straight, horrendous uh, hero grind, but bringing in some kind of cool collectible things as well. You can also see all your uh, cosmetic skins and colors, uh, as well as they've added skins also have a benefit now. So I have my uh, hollow ginger beard, that's his set skin. He gets 1% uh, aspect attack bonus. So I believe he gets a 1% bonus against... Or he has like a 20% bonus against focus. Now we have like a 21% bonus against focus. So I actually got to go through and make sure all my heroes have skins equipped. Because I have some skins unlocked. But now they actually do something. Um, so thanks for watching. That's... Yeah pretty much most of what they added in this last update they added some dungeon rating things as well um i'm lazy i'm not lazy actually i just like going through the dungeon but thanks for watching if you have any other questions or anything let me know